But like ha passive shield for all the links and heroes is really good. Like it's super underestimated against projectiles. Like if, if like if you were yeah, that's why I tell people when you play on Wi-Fi, like just practice standing there against characters like Rob or Zelda and and you'd be surprised. The only thing passive shield doesn't go through is something like a command grab, which is like Steve. I think I haven't tested against Steve, but I know like I've gotten grabbed by Steve just by standing still. Palutena should not have passive shield. <laughs> no way in hell. That would be the worst thing. Alright, well, game one here, Ven versus Aaron. Uh, definitely the first of the matchup, and of course, Strides kind of introduced the little things about what Ven may or may not like in this matchup. Like, the thing, going back on, like, passive shield, <laughs> the thing about it, too, is that you, it's really good and it's better than shield uh, shielding, arguably. The thing is that you, in order to punish your, you can still be punished for passive shield. Like, like, if, like Chat just said, you can angle your lasers or you can get grabbed. And then after that, after passive shield, it all depends on how well you're able to react against your opponent, but also the starting frames of your moves. Like, Young Link will be able to punish your, his opponents faster than Link just because Young Link has faster frame moves compared to regular Link. And even then, regular Link has like a B, which is like frame seven. It's still risky because it's like the end leg of it. So you have to really evaluate like what's the best move to punish after your passive shield. Especially if you're going to go for like anything read worthy. But so far, Vin on stock one with the back throw here. Aaron trying to continue this pressure with Neutral Air right off the ledge. Vin has time to set up a knight, but the problem is that like Neutral Air starts from above Rob. And it's also able to hit Zelda after knight. And what a good setup from Gyro. And then cover the landing with up with immediately the grab. So if Vin tried to move away, that was Gyro to deal with. There was a lot of good things that happened there for Aaron. Unfortunately, Vin was just had the right state of mind. But man, Rob being able to just... Rob Gyro is basically the neutral winner for Rob, as we all know it. Yeah, Rob Gyro is definitely always a threat, but at least Vin has that, uh, I forget what his neutral B is called. The neighbor's um, love? Neighbor's love, yeah. Which, give, which yeah. leaves Zelda intangible at the starting frames. Yeah. That is like a good combo breaker move. Also has a reflector too. Great pivot grab, oh my god. Do we need to look at a Zelda's pivot grab a little? <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that looked like he grabbed him from halfway. Across the stage almost. It's pretty sus oh, pivot grab if you ask Oh, that nice. was good yeah, too, and he angled it. If, even without him grabbing the ledge twice, Ben usually does that uh, slight hold down up B because if anyone gets too close to the ledge, it the hitbox is huge enough to hit them. Yeah, exactly. And a lot of people don't think to shield, so he just gets like a free hit most of the time. Oh, nice. Yeah, that raw back there is insanely powerful, by the way. Even yeah, without I, the speed spot. Like, like Zelda's back air is ridiculous, but raw back air is also really good too. What a punish on the landing, smashed. yeah. And that's good too because the one thing like Aaron has been doing from the ledge this whole time is like going for an air. So for just Ven just to stand there and guard that whole spot knowing what like Aaron might just do here was really good for him. Great yeah. uh, great understanding. At, up tilt, up air, and up smash are gonna be very good in, in this match out because especially the way that Aaron's choosing to play Rob. Very yeah. near happy. Um anytime he throws that out, not spaced, and Ven gets a Read on like the time he's gonna fall down on top of him, he can just kill him uh very easily. Also, up B out of shield might be very strong against that move as well. Uh if it's not spaced good. 
He might just be able to up him out of shield immediately after blocking there. Maybe without a parry too. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. Um, yeah, I agree with J-Man. Uh, Nero's love is definitely killing this matchup. It's, it's really, really strong. It does a lot of things other than reflecting. Yeah. But the reflector is probably the most useful thing right now. Yeah, I was gonna say, man, that pivot grab looking, uh, looking like we might need to uh, get that frame data check, man. We might need that. Uh, we might need that nerf too. <laughs> nah, Zelda sucks. Zelda needs that. Palu, on the other hand, definitely Palu... doesn't deserve to have a tether grab. I was gonna say, Palu had a whole tether grab. That was not fair. There are characters with like worse grabs than Palu, and Palu did not deserve that privilege. Paolo's grab was definitely on was definitely like a privileged grab. They be making me die laughing when I fight Paolo's nowadays, and they be trying to grab me from like ten characters away because <laughs> it would have worked before. Anyway, back to this match. Vin already starting out incredibly strong. Almost got the Knight Ledge Trap to work in full effect. And I think Aaron like narrowly avoided that just by just by how huge Rob is, and uh. By avoiding that, he has a chance for this, basically evening up the whole stock. Oh, too early oh. on the spot dodge, too. Jarrow here, yeah. Man, I think Aaron's even trying to start baiting out the Nehru's loves at this point, but it's just been pretty difficult for him to get a good punish on it. Yeah. He doesn't really have that much in lag. Okay, Jarrow at the ledge, nice punches the roll on. If he did up smash instead of the down smash there to cover roll, I think he would have got the stock right now. Still holding down the ledge with that gyro in play, catches the jump, trying to limit as many options mm, as possible, and it yeah. works out. Nice stuff. And Using you can that tell gyro Vin, to throw it up. Yeah. That's yeah, really you smart. can tell Vim really wanted to like avoid that scenario because he tried to like, all right, maybe try to set up for night. Or maybe go for like a high recovery with the B, but unfortunately like Aaron just knows like okay, Ven is pretty much a sitting duck. I might as well take care of him now. Yep, it's the power of having a really strong projectile like Gyro uh, to limit options at the ledge. It's the same, similar thing with Diddy Kong, so banana. The Gyro is like even more active on the stage. Okay, looking like the Aaron show so far. Oh, oh my God, that back air killed that 60, didn't it? Just yeah, 60, I, right? yeah, I literally, I literally just I saw Aaron not only space that back air so well, but he just killed it a ridiculously early percent. Like, I didn't, I didn't just see that, right? Like, that wasn't me imagining that he just died at 60%, right? No, 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 no. no. All right, all right, all right, you did not all right, imagine right. that. I am with right. you on this stretch. I am your second pair of eyes. All right. Yeah, good. great character. <laughs> great character. All right. Aaron, honestly, could get a three stock right now. Uh, if he got the, like, jab lock on that, potentially could have killed. Because you can, like, throw him off the stage and then get the uh, arm rotor to finish him off. But... Then with the falling up air, I hadn't even seen Zelda do that before. Short hop falling up air, but it is enough to get the kill, just barely. I don't think that's worrying Arian too much though, because he's just continuing the aggressive plays, putting a lot of pressure on Vin, not really letting him get any time to set up at all this time. There's the gyro again. Yep, Aaron having a really good time with that gyro on stage. Yeah, what a great oh, nice. hey. come on grab. Yep. And it's good too because he has pretty much earned that with all the pressure he's been doing with Ven and his projectiles, but also his reads. So that pretty much left Ven on shield and enough for Aaron to get pretty much, like I said, earn that grab. Ven though, trying to come up from the aggressive side. Dash attack to get in here. Ven on the 139. This is rough for Ven because any missed opportunity, any poorly spaced arrow, and, and he's too close to Aaron's shield, that's an up smash punish. Or if he just gets scared enough of projectiles, Aaron's just gonna grab him. <laughs> Oh, let me just get that cross up Nair to grab. Let me just get this cross up Nair to free grab. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Can we talk about that? That is not fair. Like, what? That is privilege. I'm telling you, man, like, Rob is, oh, look, Rob is a menace, like, offline, but this character is a terror online. And he goes from, like, being, in my opinion, like, top 20, top 15 offline to, like, top three easily online. Like, Rob is a top three character online. Like, you cannot convince me otherwise. 
I mean, I feel like that would have worked offline too. I feel like yeah, everything yeah, that Aaron's doing, it, it will work in real life just as well. <laughs> I think Rob is just good. He did drop shield after the Nair. Yeah, he dropped shield not realizing he got crossed up. And shield drop frames are already too long in this game. Well, they're not too long, but, you know, they're pretty long. That was just, like, a very good Nair that, like, a lot of characters can't do what Rob just did there. A lot of characters that have kill throws can't do that. Yeah, Zelda's very strong online. Vin's also very good offline. Actually better offline than online. I don't know. I can't say that for any other Zelda player, honestly. Because I just don't know any other Zelda player that does get offline. Except maybe the Japanese Zelda. But, anyway. 1-1 one, one here. Honestly, game 2. I don't know what happened between game 1 and 2. But, like, Aaron just completely woke up in game 2. Like, as soon as he got momentum, it didn't really seem like Vin uh, ever recovered from that. <laughs> So that's why in this game I can already see Vince just kind of like immediately establish his stage control, just rack up all the percent, just really keep Aaron uh, pressured so that he doesn't get opportunities to you know keep him shut down with the gyro. Oh, nice use of the Nerus. That arm rotor was very dangerous. It can kill at this percent. So good stuff for Vin to avoid that. Oh, where's he gonna go here? Okay, straight to the ledge. Jumps over the gyro. Oh my goodness, that back air didn't do as much damage as before, but still Aaron kind of tr trying to cover all his bases here. Interesting enough, the knight got completely interrupted from Zelda getting hit. Didn't really hit the knight. Oh. That was good for Ven too. He wanted to grab Gyro to like just get back on stage, but probably try to use it. Big problem there. I was like Aaron anticipated that. Therefore, going for something like that is really, really rough because you're falling into Rob's game plan, basically. And that's the crazy thing about gyro too like i've said it many times like gyro is something that you have to actually interact with it or leave it alone and even then leaving it alone isn't good for you and oh. interacting it with it isn't great for you either but double up till like you said strikes it's good for ventu with the way that aaron plays yeah i mean aaron uh so far i saw that one situation i just saw he's not really getting anti-air as easily i think he learned from how he died in the first game honestly also, quick little side note on passive shields. Knight also has passive shield. Zelda Knight has passive shield. It is like the secret fifth character that has Knight and passive shield. Kind of interesting that they did little small details in design to make that thing. Yeah, that's my that's some of my favorite thing about Smash. Like the little ad attention to details in terms of like abilities, but also like true to game things. Oh, good. See, that this is good for Ven because going for like Din's fire forces Aaron on the low recovery. And you know, the one thing Rod is going to do is stall on that arrow on that low recovery. And this pretty much gives Ven the stage to work with and night setups. Who that was so close to. And if Ven had like directional air dodge, that would have been the down air. But you know, Ven is not going to give him that. I'm actually surprised Ven opted for a third up tilt there instead of trying to like, get a more guaranteed follow up. Yeah, and I'm gonna I'm Aaron so... is eating up all this stage control. Like, he has to reach the ledge. He has to, yeah. Okay, good. That actually does hit the below the ledge, surprisingly. It, that's what Rob is privileged on online and offline, but still. That light is gonna sweep low. Yeah, that's good. I love that Ven, when Ben goes for that setup. It's my favorite setup for the guys with Zelda. Yeah, Knight going through the ledge like that is really useful. I like mm. oh, air though. Damn. I was gonna say I like that he used the knight to hit the gyro away from the ledge and try to get like you know a bit aggressive play from that, but Aaron's just like I, I don't care, bro. I was trying to try shield. <laughs> it's covering everything in front of me. This scoop hitbox just does not mess around. <sighs> it does not mess around indeed, and that is right. We are in best of five territory. Uh, the injured ginger avenger. <laughs> This is such a tag. I'm sorry. It's, it's funny to laugh at it in a, in, a, in a weird way, but. Yeah. Vin isn't really trying to interact with the gyro at all, honestly. Person in the chat that's saying that. 
Yeah, um, that's the thing too. And it, that's it's the, really it, annoying, honestly. If you yeah. try to interact with gyro and you don't know what to do because you screw up and then you're just gonna get stuck getting hit by the gyro, and then Rob will kill you while you're stuck with that. Gyro is like, in my opinion, ridiculously good. Like it, it's another option select. In my opinion, like I think I think arguably Steve has the best one, but Rob's is definitely up there. Like you you don't interact with it, cool. Rob gets gyro back and he charges laser which you don't want which you don't want to you interact with it cool rob gets to move around because you interacted with it it's kind of like a damn if you do damn if you don't situation you have to really respect yeah. rob gyro and it wins the neutral for the character too jesus get me out of here and a projectile that lasts out there forget it privileged character sakurai please nerf yeah he hasn't nerfed rob yet huh no, he hasn't. Dude, remember, the only thing he nerfed, nerfed was like the the Rob Tipper jab thing. <laughs> and that would okay, be, be fair. That would be really ridiculous if you could still do that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like the, the, the fact that down tilt is like the best boxing option in the game, like 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 not a lot of people think about oh, yeah, that. The but names it are is. reversed, by the way. Oh, I'm sorry. Aaron is. Cool. Uh, but like down right. tilt being Perfect. one of the best boxing options in the game, it sets up into trips. Like, how is Rob a boxer and his owner at the same time? I mean, Snake is the same and Pac-Man. That's true. But they have, I feel like their weaknesses are like slightly more distinct than Rob's, but. You, you know what they say, 70% of character hate is because you don't know the matchup. 10% is because you don't, is because you don't know the tools and the other 20 is because you probably don't like the player. Yeah, honestly, my characters all beat Rob, so. I normally don't really care about Rob on the screen. I, n I recognize how strong the character is for sure. Yeah. And obviously Aaron does as well since he's opting to solo main Rob for the foreseeable future. Okay. This gyro is putting in work at the ledge, bro. I don't know. The Min's <laughs> only option so far has just been, let me just jump from ledge. Cause I don't want to interrupt with gyro at the ledge. And uh, so far, it's like so-so success rate because a lot of times Aaron's waiting for the jump too and he's ready to intercept him. Look how much percent he's taking just from being ledge trapped on both sides of the stage. Yeah, left and the pressure right. too. The, the pressure too. Dead. It's like he sees that Ven jumped and then he basically dash dances to see how Ven would react afterwards. And then essentially Aaron had the right call. Good toss with the gyro upwards because yeah, this forces Ven to evaluate that situation back on the stage. And then look at how much Aaron can fight from here. It's like I'm telling you, man. Gyro pays bills, bro. You cannot convince me otherwise. Gyro pays bills. You know the best thing about Rob is that without Gyro, he's like a strong mid tier character. Yeah. That's literally what I tell everybody. He's like a strong high tier, but without Gyro, he's literally like a strong mid tier. And that's not that bad considering in Ultimate. Like, mid tiers are actually more viable than they've ever been in this game. But for dash attack, finally, finally gave him the stock. But dude, look how much percent Vin took. He's basically at kill percent the back here right now at the ledge. Yeah. Projectiles are oh, really wow. good, chat. Like, chat's talking about how, like, projectiles are, like, all amongst the top tiers. But the thing is, like, you have to look, evaluate not projectiles as they are, but what they are more meant to be. They force you to move and evaluate situations. Do I block? Do I punish? Do I whiff? Do like, you have to look at that. Like, for Aaron in that situation with Din's fire, like, he has to evaluate, do I want to air dodge low? Do I want to jump over it? Like, what's my play? And that's And having projectiles Ooh, as nice. a top tier is good. But, man, that projectile that is night, so good for Ven, finally giving him a stock lead. Yeah, Aaron wasn't paying attention to where the knight was on stage anymore. So, he's completely uh, jumped into that knight hitbox. And Ben's actually going to take that to the bank because look at all the percent he's racking up. Got the stock lead now. Got some stage control as well. Trying to cover a roller jump in with that up tilt. Very, very strong positioning from Vin on stage right now. Yep, covering the jump as well. Almost got the Nair to combo into the Night Slash too. But Vin gets really greedy with that brain dead charge forward smash. Was not paying attention to anything that Aaron was doing there. <laughs> so Aaron's going to get a free kill. Look, and man, uh, Vin, Vin trying... might want to relax only because it's Rob with the gyro in hand. Okay, okay. Look, Ven is just yeah, trying see. to F-smash the ghost okay, of, like... Okay, wait, wait. Hey, he's fine. trying to just F-smash the ghost of, like, Smashville. That's what he was trying to do, man. You can't blame him for it. 
All right, no dash attack oh, here. Either. No All grab right. either. I thought with Aaron holding shield that long, they was gonna go for the guaranteed grab, but oh, big back there, Aaron. Oh no, yeah, this, this is back. no jump, no jump. Is, yeah, he's this okay, is Van's okay, okay. game to lose now. This is rough. Ben jumped from ledge again, but Aaron didn't punish it this time. All right, there's the knight at the ledge too. I'm liking Aaron. this from Ben. He's using Din's fire to force that low recovery, and then he'll set up knight. And Knight at the ledge Aaron, is pretty good, and um, Aaron is out of fuel. He does not yeah. want to interact with Ven, even with all the projectiles and gyro rob has got. Aaron uh, forgetting. Aaron forgetting uh, that he only has a certain amount of gas. I don't know. I, I don't know why he's kept trying to plank the ledge for that long. It was a lot of pressure though. The knight was there for a very long time, and he was also sparing the Din's fire too. I would, honestly, at that point, if I'm Aaron, I jump to avoid the knight because that's guaranteed going to kill you. And then you try to, you try to get hit if you're going to get hit by like the weak Din's fire. You know how how it has the initial hit of Din's fire that's like yeah, yeah, yeah. strong, and then like the late hit. I I'll, I'll just take that and then like let on stage, come back, get the fuel back. But uh. It is what it is. Honestly, that was a lot of pressure to be under. I, I don't blame him for running out of gas there. Unfortunately, it's just at that point, you gotta just kinda like bank on your timing and see if you can get back on stage while avoiding all the projectiles at the same time. Easier said than done, but yeah. That's how we're going to game five now, though. Yeah. Many that game push it through. four was pretty much back and forth, honestly. Could have gone either way. Yeah, I mean, look, man, if you're in SoCal, you know gas is expensive. So, you know, Rob's gas will eventually run out and he needs to refuel. And unfortunately, because he just didn't want to react with Zelda, it kind of cost him on that one. And it's like Stride says, he has to evaluate all those options in that situation. Like, what is the best option or what is the what is not the worst option, but the best for me in this situation? Because not everything is always going to be good for you in hindsight. But sometimes it's just better to either take a hit and survive than trying to actually, like be around but like i said man gas is expensive in socal i live around a gas station that's five bucks just to give you guys some, some hindsight Sheesh. yeah man five bucks five dollar gas is monka s man i miss the good old days when i didn't have to worry about gas Got bro car, no more that was the over. only hidden blessing about COVID. gas went down to like two dollars and like 78 cents this is gas prices i haven't seen since i was you know what's school. crazy about that they when as soon as everyone starts getting vaccinated it's like oh yeah we back baby <laughs> Six dollars. let's go five dollar like, oh, gas it. baby <laughs> i hate it here i hate it here truly i really anyway do, anyway 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 um game five zelda versus rob the two most loved characters online fighting each other to the very last breath. Honestly, these two players have just been going back and forth. The up B out of shield failed completely. I know I said before, if Zelda got a parry, he could up B Rob's near out of shield. I'm sorry for lying to you, Vin. I'm sorry if you heard me say that and you thought that was a good <laughs> idea. I am sorry. I'm just a commentator. I do not play Zelda. I'm sorry. Vin is going to bring this back up to you at the Discord. I'm, t I'm telling you right now. I, I'm so sorry. I did not realize your up B did not function. That was my mistake. And apparently yours as well, because Aaron is racking all this percent up. Pretty much got Zelda at kill percent yet again. Either the spinny arms will kill off stage or the sweet spot back here. Either way, the, no way, the yeah. control is completely in Aaron's favor just because of that gyro, dude. Even the down tilt, man. Oh, man, Vince taking so much damage. He might just die here before he gets another stock. And Aaron, with this momentum, is looking like a complete beast. Mm, oh my god, that, that is comboed. not great. That is not that great. That comboed. Can you believe that comboed? The very last frame of the gyro. Yeah, Aaron smells blood. Aaron wants this three stock. He wants to move on to the loser's finals. Vin, okay, finally getting that stock. But, dude, this, this is a big comeback to make as Zelda. As Zelda. Like, making a comeback, like, with a zony type character is one of the most difficult things you can do. Wow, this man literally corner carried this man from one side of the stage to the other with down throw. That's what I'm telling you, man. Rob is ridiculous. That down oh, throw yeah. has no business being that good. All right, so can we edit out the part in this commentary block where I said that Ben could up be his Narada shield? I'll say less, man. I have to upload the VODs. <laughs> 
It'll only take a second. Good, because I already... Oh my goodness, that forest smash not enough! And he avoids this type of the dense fire. Aaron's living. Okay. And then still night here. control though. He's he gonna take the night hit. Oh, oh no. Vin was too far away. He wanted to grab him so that he was oh, guaranteed to get hit by the man. night, but it whips completely. Aaron found the opening too when he had all that lag and he just snuck in the back air. Dang. And Everything you can see the went frames of dash completely downhill as soon as he failed that up B. He never recovered from that.